Have you ever needed to execute an ADB shell command directly on the device that you're using? With the help of an Android application called Shizuku, we can run these commands locally on your smartphone or tablet without needing access to a desktop or laptop PC. You don't even need to have root access for this to work, since we're letting Shizuku handle all of the heavy lifting for us. So let's get into it. As mentioned, this process will require you to have Shizuku installed and running in the background. If this is not something you're familiar with, then that's perfectly understandable. I have a dedicated guide here on the channel that can walk you through how to get the Shizuku service up and running. So, in an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be, I'll have that guide linked down below so that it's easy for everyone to find. Once you have Shizuku installed and it's running properly, then you're going to need to install an application called Shizu Tools. This app is free as well, and it requires you to have Shizuku set up on your device but it's really easy to install and it just requires you to sideload an APK file. And I'll have this page linked down below as well. And you just need to launch the application in order to see the prompt that asks you to grant the app access to Shizuku. With all of that done, you should see Shizu tools in the application management section of the Shizuku application and then you're up and running, ready to begin executing ADB shell commands locally on your Android smartphone or tablet. We have the Shizuku service up and running in the background, and we have also sideloaded the Shizu Tools application. When we open it up, you'll want to scroll down to the bottom of this menu and you'll see a feature labeled Local Shell. Tap on this, and you're going to be greeted with a simple input box. Normally, you would need to execute the command ADB Shell from your PC to drop into a shell prompt that's directly on your smartphone or tablet. But since we are already here, and the app is already giving us access to that ADB Shell prompt, we just need to type the actual command here. So an example that I found is an ADB shell command that will lock the device. It simulates the power button being pressed so that when the command is executed, we'll see this display go black. And we can do that with the command input space key event space 26. There's no need to append the words ADB shell to the front of this command, because as mentioned, we are already given access to that when we tap onto this local shell feature. So we're just going to tap on this blue run button after our ADB shell command has been typed out, and we're gonna see the screen go dark, just as if we had pressed that power button. And you should know, there are a variety of ADB shell commands that you can execute here, such as dump sys space battery, which will give us a rundown of the battery stats, or we can do am space force dash stop space, and then the package name of an application to force stop that particular app. And now you know how to quickly and easily execute ADB shell commands locally on your Android smartphone or tablet without the help of an external desktop or laptop computer. Just about anything that you can do within the settings or a third-party application, you can do with an ADB shell command. 
executing these commands just typically requires you to have access to a computer, a USB cable, and some time to enable USB debugging mode and getting all of your drivers set up properly. So being able to execute specific ADB shell commands locally and directly on your Android smartphone or tablet is a really nice benefit. And you can do all of this without root access. But as always, if you had any issues about this process, or if you had any questions along the way, then please feel free to use the comment section down below. I appreciate each and every one of you who has stuck with me to the end of this guide, as it really means a lot to see how many of you are watching through my videos all the way to the end. The last thing that I have to ask is that you give this video a like, and then you subscribe to the channel as well for more useful Shizuku tips like this.